this train pulled in and covered the road crossing. The conductor got down, went into the yard office. Then he's walking back. He's gonna climb back on board. He probably the engineer gonna put the reverser forward. Gonna release the train brakes. Generator fill switch up. Put in notch one. Let it load up. Then slowly come off the independent brakes, which is only the locomotive brakes. And he's entering the yard, so he's probably have his uh, his headlights on dim and turn his ditch lights off. They must needed to get some paperwork or something from the yard office, because he got down and then came back within a minute. He has the road crossing block. If I'm correct, the lead engine is a, a ES, I believe they were ES44 DCs when they first came out, but they, they became D-rated, I believe, so it's an ES40 uh, DC. I may be wrong, I'll research it. Then the trailing unit is a, a ES44AH. Those are the model numbers for the locomotives. I remember when the lead engines, the lead engine first started coming out, it was in the mid 2000s, like 05. I remember it was a big deal, the Evolution Series locomotive. Like I said, the train pulled in, covered the crossing, the conductor got down, walked and to the yard office came back out within a minute now I would imagine he's going to go line switches see he's coming back now and also as an engineer one thing I didn't mention when the, the, the train stopped a lot of times the engines had a countdown time there we go see He knocked the locomotive brakes off. I can see the cylinder. Hear the tension, the slack stretched out. When he go to notch two, you can hear it. When he go to notch two, you can hear it. Right there. Say when he go to notch three, he, he came off of it. He went back to notch two. He must have a light train.
that takeoff was awesome. I got goosebumps. But this train is not heavy because he never really dug into it. Like there was a rule where uh, under 10 miles per hour, you couldn't go over notch four. But a lot of times when you come out of idle and go to notch one, notch two, notch three, notch four, man, them locomotives are screaming. And uh, I never heard that. He, he, he stayed in notch two. But the slat was stretched out because you see how when he, he knocked off the locomotive brakes and put it under power, you hear, I could hear the tension already in the, in the knuckles in the draft gear. So he stopped stretched. He had the slack stretched out when he stopped the train. This is something I've never seen before as well. Look, they have trash containers in well cars. I ain't never seen that. Never. Wilmington, Delaware. Wow. That's normally how I'm used to the trash cars looking. A long flat car with the four 20 foot containers sitting on them. Why he's slowing down again? Whenever you see the train ro rolling along like this, and you look at the knuckles, if you see the knuckles start jerking, that's, that's letting you know that the train's slowing down. When the train is stretched out and pulling, they'll all be, uh, there'll be no slack in between. You can tell they're stretched out under tension. But if you see the knuckles start bunching up, a lot of jerking motion, that's how you know the train's slowing down. You can hear it too sometimes.
try to get a shot and see if there's any motion in between the knuckles. See, they stretched out right now. They still pulling. The locomotives are under power. More trash cars. That container rocking back and forth on, the, on that flat car. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be doing that, but I can see it rocking back and forth. Now go hit right here. You see it? See how they look bunched up now? You can hear it coming. See look, see the see the action? Pretty long train. He's slowing down. Look at the knuckles. See? See? He's about to stop. Now, there was another rule where when you made a stop, you were always supposed to condition the brakes. So even if I could get the train stopped with the locomotive brakes, regardless if I use the train brakes or not, I supposed to condition the brakes. And what that is, that's, that's uh, applying 10 pounds of uh, air. So the uh, brake pipe pressure was 90 pounds PSI per square inch. And what you would do is just grab 10 pounds of air. Those shh. And then as soon as the brakes applied, you will knock them off. And then it'll, it'll release the brakes. That was a rule. Now, CSX used to not let you get off moving equipment, but they changed it where you could get off. So if the conductor could get down quick, walk quickly ahead, 
line the switch that they need to line and go catch back up. And you would know that if you see the slack starting to stretch out again, but it's bunched up right now. Check that car out. The sun. I've never seen a car like that before. Built 0422. It's a fairly new car. running and crossing. It's got places to be. Got that train stretched out all the way down there. A long train. Here the EOT. The EOT is uh, air power. The air pressure in the brake line is turning a turbine in the uh, EOT, which is causing it to uh, power. That EOT is sending the brake pipe pressure of the rear to the head of the engine. Also, if we were running along and we need to put the train in emergency, there's a toggle switch. If you flip that toggle switch up, it'll dump the air on the rear of the train as well. Instead of it having to go one car, two car, three car, four car, five car, when you flip that toggle switch up, it'll dump the air on that EOT so it'll stop the train quicker in an emergency situation. So I'm recording the video and this guy right here walked up on me and asked me to buy him some liquor from the store. And I told him, can he please get from away from me? And then he picked up a board and tried to beat me. And I pulled my back and he got back. Now you see I'm walking down the road. That's why when you when you out and about watch the trains, you gotta be careful and watch your six. But it's funny how in life, man, even when you try to do something simple, it, it, it's something always working against you. It's funny, man. Catch not fish. You see how everything becomes full circle? I recorded this train coming in one end of the yard. I had to make a stop. Now I'm back on the move. I'm seven miles from the hotel and it's getting dark. I got some dangerous stretches to cross before it gets super dark. And I'm making a full circle. And look how I see the train on the other end of the yard. I can see the conductor walking back. It looks like uh, 
they're cutting away with some cars because I heard the brakes release and maybe testing the handbrakes on some cars that they're gonna leave standing. I really wanna stay and see this, but I gotta go. I gotta go. Mm. I would love to get a shot of the engines from the top. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I'm gonna follow my gut. Catch not fish. Okay, I promise, just one more shot. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. That's all I ever wanted to do. Must be nice. It has that new car smell. It smells amazing. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. If this was I Am Legend, I'd be screwed. Because they can come out once the sun go down. I'd be screwed. Got about two miles to go.